Hey YouTube, my name's Lucky and I thought I'd bring you guys a short little video talking to you guys about competitive zombies. Now the background footage in this video is of me playing one player on the newest zombie map, Call of the Dead, uh, found in the Ascension map pack. Now I get pretty far in this match, uh, I get to like round 24 or something like that, and uh, I end up losing to some sort of like crawler glitch on this map, but uh, that's beside the point. As I mentioned earlier, uh, there is a desire out there in the competitive community for competitive zombies, and uh, Game Battles has definitely addressed this. Uh, during Halloween, Game Battles will actually hold a zombies tournament on GameBattles.com. Um, it's a pretty awesome tournament. Um, I got to participate in it before, and basically what they do is they have you and two other teammates of yours uh, will go into a zombies match, and the fourth teammate will be an MLG ref, and that MLG ref will watch your match, you know, make sure you're not doing any sort of zombie glitches. Uh, the fourth player will be the MLG ref, he'll watch your match, and uh, at the beginning of every round, the ref kills himself, uh, so that way, you know, he doesn't interfere with how you and your friends do. And so it's you and two other friends, and uh, you guys just sort of play zombies and see how far you can get, you know. And uh, the tournament goes, you know, it's a single elimination. If whatever round you make it to, uh, you have to compare that to the rounds that all the other teams make it to. And so if you make it to the farthest round, uh, you win. And so it's kind of cool. It's uh, competitive zombies, and uh, a lot of people like that. But, you know, that tournament isn't until really far away from now. Uh, you know, Halloween is October 31st, and so that's like at least four months away from, you know, the day I'm recording this video. And so that's uh, pretty far ahead, pretty far in the future, but the past times that they've been playing it, you know, I've obviously been on Call of Duty World at War, and uh, it would be interesting to see this time uh, how it would play out on Black Ops, because I'm sure for this October 31st they'll hold the same tournament, and uh, it'll be on Black Ops, and uh, I'm kind of wondering, you know, what zombie map they'll choose uh, for the tournament. You know, last year the zombie map was Darius from World at War. Uh, it was the third map pack zombie map, and that was the map you had to play competitively on. And it'll be interesting to see which map pack they choose this time. And it was kind of a question I wanted to ask you guys: is which zombie map do you think would be the best map for competitive zombies? As I mentioned earlier, the other thing that I wanted to throw out there is that um, you know, perhaps there are other websites that have competitive zombies. You know, the, the platforms that I'm most familiar with with competitive gaming uh, are GameBattles.com and MajorLeagueGaming.com, and also 360Icons.com. Uh, those are about the only three platforms that I've ever played on uh, and competed on. Uh, but I definitely know there are a lot more platforms out there than those, and so and if you guys know of other platforms where they do more competitive zombies, uh, definitely send you know write a comment or send me a message or something, and uh, you know that'd be really cool to get involved in that more because I'm actually a big fan of zombies. I really like uh, zombies a lot. It's actually one thing that really got me uh, back into Call of Duty after I'd been out of it for a while was playing zombies and so you know I'm really into it and so if there were more competitive zombies I would definitely play more. Now in a second here I'm gonna briefly mention how I'm gonna open this video up to video responses and uh, you guys can uh, you know post your videos uh, of your zombie games on this video itself uh, but before I get to that I just want to go over some brief tips uh, for, at least for this zombie map you know there's a lot of really good tips out there to make it into really far rounds in zombies uh, but for single player right here uh, some small some small tips I'd want to give to you guys if you want to make it past round 24 is uh, definitely use these four perks these are the best four perks you can choose there are eight different perks to choose on this map and I'd highly recommend these four you know number one you have to have juggernaut so that way you don't die very easily you know two zombie swipes come really fast Slate of hand is really helpful you know you want to be able to reload and be able to shoot more uh, quick revive for single player is obvious you know you the quick revive uh, works as a sort of second chance where you revive yourself and so you definitely want to have that because you want to have a second chance in the game and PhD flopper is also one of the four best perks to get simply because you get no explosive damage on yourself which is really helpful when you're using the ray gun uh, because you can take the ray gun and literally just shoot it at your own feet uh, just you know hold the trigger the ray guns automatic fire and just hold at your feet and you can just kill all the zombies that come up to you and so that's why you definitely want to have flopper uh, this spot I'm at on the map right here is uh, I would say this is the best spot to play especially if you're playing one player you can circle the zombies really well as you see what I'm doing right here I'm circling them around and then I shoot them with the scavenger um, the two best weapons in the game are it's pretty obvious what the two best are you know the scavenger upgraded and the ray gun upgraded are the two best weapons to have uh, unfortunately if you do get those two weapons then you're not able to you know kill George or at least put him in the water for a few rounds uh, which isn't that big a deal though as long as you circle around the map quite a bit it'll take him a while to come back to you, you see right there he's coming back over here um, I'm not, not too worried about him he's not gonna uh, get in my way too much Right there you see I get mess up, I back myself up into a corner, yeah, that's something you definitely want to watch out for, uh, especially when you're doing the sort of circle strategy with zombies. 
And so yeah, those are the tips that I have uh, for you guys. The last thing that I wanted to do with this video is uh, I wanted to turn this video itself into sort of a zombies competition. And I wanted to ask you guys, you know, what is the farthest round you've made it to uh, on all the zombie maps? Um, you can leave a comment below or you can leave a video response. I'm going to enable video responses for this video. And so if you guys have made it to a really far round in, you know, single player, two, three, four player, uh, definitely you can leave a video response and, uh, you know, let everyone else who watches this video know how far you've made it uh, on a certain zombie map. All right. My name is Lucky, thanks for watching, later.